Okay, YouTube, um, for those of you who haven't been following along with my comms uh, creation, this is a Giro Quarter um, bike helmet that I have made, Tucker Got style, uh, grinding out the corners. Oh, I got some, I got some cleanup to do. Uh, and then uh, these are my 3M Peltor. I got these are the thick ones. Um, they uh, they attenuate more noise than the uh, than the smaller green ones that Tucker used in his videos. So uh, and they're deeper, so I figured I got more room to put stuff inside. Anyway, so I've got the uh, Senna wired boom microphone, and it has a 2.5 millimeter jack here. And I've got these little ear pads. They'll go inside, and they're actually meant to go under a pillow uh, so you can listen to TV and movies and stuff uh, without disturbing your bedmate. Anyway, so uh, uh, I've got those. They're going to be my ear cups. They were like $10. The boom microphone was, uh, I think, $20, $25. And then uh, this adapter cable was, uh, tw I think, I got two of them for $30 from England. So, uh, like, so that was $15. Bucks. But I had a problem with the radio and the radio was squealing into the microphone and or excuse me squealing into the headphones from the microphone when i would push talk and i figured out it was rf and i tried all this crazy wiring and uh changing stuff around just so i could uh try to figure out what was going on if it was a wiring issue if it was a microphone issue turned out it was rf uh, radio frequency leaking into the microphone um, from from the radio and so what I decided to do was get the antenna away from this cable uh, which is the microphone and speaker cable so I bought this five dollar extension and this is just BNC connectors connectors I bought this five dollar extension cable and make sure you get a 50 ohm one uh, for radio use because uh, you don't want one that's not for radio so um, and then the other end attaches to the antenna and my intent was to get the antenna away from this cable and maybe stop some of the RF and put the antenna like underneath the paramotor back by the gas tank pointing down at the ground um, zip tied so when the when the cage is sitting on the ground that the uh, antenna is you know just off the ground you know a couple of inches like that up against the uh, frame of the paramotor but the funny thing is as soon as I plug this cable in even transmitting, even if I hold it right up next to the microphone or right up next to the speakers, I don't get that RF squeal feedback. So just getting the antenna body away from this end of the cable seems to have solved my RF issues. So no more squealing, no more problems. Uh, the side tone works, I can hear myself. The funny thing is, and you can even see the, uh, the ferret bead that I used, I coiled it around this little microphone. The funny thing is, the Senna wired microphone works okay in, uh, in, in transmitting my voice back through the side tone and it sounds okay. It's a little low. This, uh, this five, or excuse me, I think these are $12. It's a pop voice, um, there you go, uh, microphone from Amazon. And I use them for my ham radio because they're really light. And anyway, so uh, this, five, this $12 microphone sounds better than this Senna wired microphone. Now, I don't know about noise reduction, so that's something I, I'm gonna have to test on my lawnmower, but uh, this <laughs> this microphone sounds great. It's at least twice as loud through the side tone uh, as that other one, so uh, I'm gonna give it a check, test. I'll be soldering this up uh, and fixing all this. The nice thing is I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave this as an option, not only for airborne use, but uh, I have a digital voice recorder, so uh, as if, if this microphone is going to the air aviation radio, uh, I can plug this one into the digital voice recorder and then do uh, Tucker Gott style flying along, recording myself, talking to myself or whatever. So you know, I'll get all this wired up and uh, give it a good uh, test. And oh yeah, I've got, a, I've got to drill two little holes and, and put these put this wire through here so I can get to it. And I've also ordered some push to talk switches because I was worried about, I was gonna just use this push to talk button on my chest in, in a uh, sort of a uh, chest pouch type thing. But I started worrying about if I'm coming in for a landing and I gotta talk, if I've got a brake toggle in my hands, I don't want to be reaching for my chest holding the brake toggle. So since your hand's got to be up anyway near your ears, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna mount a push to talk switch right here in the ear cup. So uh, as, if my hands are up and I'm, I'm holding pressure on the wing, getting ready to land, and I've got to talk to somebody, uh, or if I'm uh, 
you know, flying through a pattern or something and I need to talk to somebody, I can hit the push to talk on the side of my head without worrying about uh, stowing the toggle and trying to get to this on a chest pouch. So I got one more wire to run, which probably means, means I need to rework some of this. But anyway, this is going on a lot longer than I want. Basically, if you have RF problems through your microphone, get you one of these, uh, I think, like I said, I think it was $5, maybe, maybe eight, but it, it's less than 10 bucks. Get you an extension cable with BNC connectors uh, and your, for your antenna. And that solves the issue with RF feedback in a wired system. Thank you.